so we have our interview. So the pictures I want is I'm going to get some pictures of the college because this is, a, this is a, a, a student talking about West Valley College. So we get some pictures of the college as well as some sound. Okay. So uh, again, I'm going to go to the internet to get some pictures of the college. Now we can download something from here if you want, or again, we can go to Google. Go to Google, and I'm going to type in West Valley College. And then I'm going to go to images, images, and of course you're going to find all kinds of images of the campus. Now as you roll your mouse over, you'll notice that the images are all kind of different sizes, right? And hopefully uh, Mr. Wood last week talked to you a little bit about editing these so that they fit. If not, we can talk about them. Okay, so there's all kinds of different sizes. And as you roll your mouse over, you can see the sizes show up, right? You can see the dimensions. Okay, this is a nice one. But look at the size. This is a nice picture, right? Let's look at it. Okay, it's 390, 392 by 266 pixels, right? But we learned already, and hopefully by now, that high definition is 1920 by 1080 is the dimensions. So if I try to take this picture and mix it with my video footage, it's going to look blurry, ugly, right? Because it's too small. Okay, so we want to find an image that's larger. And we can always take a larger image and make it smaller. It's just harder to take a smaller image and make it larger. So again, as you're rolling your cursor over, you can see pictures showing up. You can see the picture showing up. Another way to find images that are the correct size would be if you're in, again, Google Images. If you go to where it says um, setting or tools, thank you, you can go to where it says size right here. See where it says size? And you can say exactly, and you can even put in the 1920 by 1080 and hit go. And look, these are already in the appropriate size. But of course, they're not very nice photos. These are like from, from video screens, right? OK. Mostly sports. So that's not really going to give me any good. I was just pointing it out, though. Especially when you're making your slideshow, right? You might want to be able to go and find pictures that you want to use that are the right size. So you know, if you don't want to do that, you could just say any size. There we go. Let's get the logo. So let's steal the logo. Um, so I'm going to go back to any size. I was just pointing that out. Let's get the logo. Here's the uh, logo right here. To download the logo, I clicked on the logo to download it on my desktop. There's a couple different ways of going about putting the logo on your desktop. You can actually drag from the internet onto the desktop if you move your window over. See that? I can actually just drag out here like that and put it out there. No. It didn't go. I can't drag. No. Still didn't work. Okay, how about this? We right click, save image as. Right click, save image as. And then I'm going to put it on the desktop. There's an option right here for desktop. And put the extension on there that helps it. So get the logo. Oh, it's already there. Okay, so it didn't. Somehow, it's, oh, there it is. It did drag it out. And then uh, let's get some pictures. This one's too small. Find some ones that are a little bit bigger. This is quite nice, maybe. Drag that out. Um, I don't know. Um, let's see. Oh, here's the, the this one. It's a nice picture. Uh-oh, that's not working. you got to click on it first, then drag it out. There we go. And... Um, Oh, here's one outside, out front. This one's kind of nice. This is a new picture. Let's drag this one out. I don't know. Get like two or three pictures. That's all. Get two or three pictures. Two or three pictures. And make sure you get the logo too. Again, you can right click or you can just drag it out onto the desktop. Okay, sound. Let's say we want to use some sound. Now, of course, there's all kinds of places you can get audio. You can steal from a CD, but of course, if you steal from commercial music and you put it on to YouTube, what's going to happen? You'll either be taken down or they'll advertise over top of it. 
Okay, so if you don't want things advertised on top, Okay, so, but there is ways to get creative music out there, okay? Different ways of getting creative music. Um, SoundCloud is one place where you can get people that want to share music with you. The Creative Commons, okay? Uh, another great place to find sound and music is, of course, the archive.org. I don't know if Ben talked about the archive with you. Did he talk about the archive with you? He's a big archive fan because he lives in the city. So if you go to archive.org, there's a whole bunch of music on here. Um, you can type in the kind of sound you want. Say you want wind. Wind. You can type in the word wind and hit go. And it'll give you um, sometimes wind. There's audio, wind, recording of the wind outside on a balcony. Look at that. I don't know. And wind. Okay, wind. And you'll see this little icon right here. It, this shows you this is a music icon. It shows you it is a music. This is a video icon. This is a music icon. These are books. Okay, so what you might you know. So. Um, Maybe it's a musician that you like, or um, or maybe a famous song. You know, you could type in Beethoven, Mozart. How do you spell Mozart? M O Z A R T. Mozart. There we go. I'm sure, you're gonna find all kinds of Mozart on there. There you go. Okay, and if you click on it, you can usually play it. Big turn. Of course, Don Giovanni is more famous. Okay, so you have all this music that you can play. So how do I download this? Of course, on the archive.org, they give you all kinds of different formats. Of course, probably the most common would be the MP3 right here. So if you want to download this song, you can simply click on it. It'll give you which one do you want to download. I, the last one I was doing was the flute, right? I think it was, which one is, yeah, this one. I like this one. I'm going to use that one. That's this one right here. You can, again, just like you did with the picture, you can right click on here save link as. I right click on it, save link as, and I can put it on my desktop. There's an mp3 format. Put .mp3. I'm going to save it on my desktop. Okay, again, I have some music. You, you can find it. I like the archive. You can, everything is on there. Every great dead show you've ever saw. You remember that first dead show you went to? It's on there. You can always go back and look it up and remember that. So it's going to show you my birthday to 1982. Might have been 82. So find some music. I don't know. Go here, type in, you don't have to use Mozart. You can use whatever. But go type in some kind of music in archive and try and find it. Again, look for the icon that looks like music. Um, if you want to steal from a CD, of course, it, you know, most computers don't have a CD drive anymore. But you can always download there. Of course, you probably can buy music on on uh, um, iTunes, right? So you know your favorite music, okay? So find a song to go along with your video, and we'll start editing. I'll give you two minutes. Two minutes. Um, something to go with. The I have all kinds of music on the server too if you want to use that. So if you don't want to search online, if you just go to my server, if you just go to the Raskoff server, there's music on there somewhere. 
Um, somewhere there's music on there. Mm, I don't know. I thought I had music on here. Oh, here's some under the Colombian video. Colombian video. There's some music right there. Howling Wolves. Vivaldi. So right here. And when you're done, you can start. You can start uh, the program again as Premiere that we're going to edit this with. I don't know if that's compatible, but maybe. Okay, so I'm going to start with a new project right here. When you get to this window after you say new project, you can give it a name. This is going to be a WV interview. WV for West Valley interview. And then um, I'm going to put it on the desktop. So I'm just going to go where it says browse. Say desktop. So again, in Premiere, you say new project. Give it a name. Put it on the desktop. Hit OK. And this is what the program looks like. Again, the first day of class, we kind of looked at it and we made a little editing. And you can use any software you want. I just use this because that's what's on my computer. Tag us. Final Cut is great. iMovie is great. You know, they're all easy to use. They all have the same concept. The key here is if you if you um, learn one, you can learn all the other ones just the same. Okay, so I'm going to start by resetting all the windows because who knows who was using this program last. If you want to reset it back to the default setting, you go underneath Window, Workspace, Reset to save layout, I guess that one. And it kind of sets everything back to default. So again, I, I don't need all this stuff over here, but it put all this stuff here. Got a bunch of stuff over here. Got a bunch of stuff over here. But again, the reset was underneath Workspace. Reset to save layout. Okay, to bring in your clips, to bring in all the pieces that you want to use to make your video, you go under File, Import, File, Import, and I'm going to choose my Clip 5. 
I'm going to hold the command key down. I'm going to choose my logo. Remember my logo, West Valley logo, and maybe a photo, some of the photos that were there. And I'm holding, again, the command key on the keyboard down. And then I had some music somewhere. Didn't I have some music? I swear I said music. Oh, there it is. And my music. So again, to select multiple things to bring into the program at the same time, you hold down the command key and say import. And it'll put all the stuff down here in this lower window down here. So all the things kind of show up down here in the lower window down there. Did you get all the cases? Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is watch watch the, the, the movie, watch the video. So again, I'm going to click, click on clip five twice. Clip five down here twice. It should show up over here. And let's watch the video. Hey, I am a student here at West Valley College, and I belong to the TRIO program. What is TRIO? TRIO is a federal student support service program that helps low-income or first-generation students throughout college. Okay. Okay, of course, we don't want me in there, right? So we're going to chop this up. Do you remember last class? Well, the first class that I was here, remember she just goes we cut it up? Okay. So we're going to cut it up and kind of mix it together. Try to memorize like two sentences for you to make it and talk, talk to them with the camera, and then you can read them to the board and talk to them. Okay, so there's a lot to this. You can see we don't have to do the whole thing. Now, in doing this kind of interview, again, she's white background, really stark, bright, you know, hot, you know, white background, focusing on her. You know, the eyes are kind of towards the top. She's talking right at the camera. Don't use transition. Transition is not going to work. This kind of interview is one that goes cut, 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 cut very quickly. So, and try, and the cut, sometimes you'll see her jerk because she's going from one sentence to another. But um, it's going to be a lot better than having the fade. Because I remember the first class when we were here, and I saw like, a transition with me, and it faded from one to the other. This kind of thing it doesn't work. It just, it looks funny. Okay, so you want a cut, cut, cut. So. I'm going to start cutting this up right now and put it in the way that I want it. Then we'll add the other stuff later. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this up the way I think it should be. Then we'll add this logo later at the beginning. We'll move things around. We'll put the little music in the background. And then um, we'll, we'll cut to some of the pictures of the campus while she's talking. Okay, so the first thing I want you to do right now is you don't have to do a whole bunch. Again, we just want the beginning here, so here's how I would edit. I kind of put where I think she's going to start. We can listen to it again. Okay, she's about to talk right there. So I'm going to, if you remember, you can go one frame at a time right here. Look at how I go one frame at a time. See this little control thing here? This little control, you go one frame at a time <coughs> to pull a piece of the video out. Remember, this is the end point, right? If you remember, this is the end point and this is the out point. So I only want that little bit at the beginning where she says about trio. So I'm going to kind of get to where she's, you know, she's looking good no matter what, you know, she's always smiling there. So we hit in, let her. Hey. Okay, that was a little bit too soon. Let's get back to where she says hey. <laughs> See, look at that. I can go one frame at a time. There we go. Maybe something right there. Hit in. This is this squiggly line right there, in. Hey, I am a student. Okay, that's still, I, I was a little bit late. Yeah. I am a student here. Oh, I forgot the hey. I kind of like the hey. Or we could start with I'm a student. Hey. Maybe we get rid of hey. I am a student here yeah. at West I'm Valley getting rid of the hey. And I belong to the TRIO program. What is TRIO? TRIO is a federal student support service program that helps low-income or first-generation students throughout college. Okay, and then cut. So again, in and out, and then this is the stopping point. When you're done doing that, you drag from here. You can drag right down into this area down below and release your mouse, and boom, it'll put it down here, and we'll start building down here. Again, where she starts, where she stops, we grab it and drag it down here. Okay. 
Server. Go. Oh, no, you got a crazy mouse or what? This is server. Save Mac. Automatically goes to Gene. You have to fix it. Yeah, just 
for that. I didn't have time to do Okay, let me get another clip. Again, I'm going to watch your video. Into it. Okay. Okay, here we go. She's gonna talk. So again, I hit in. See how I hit in? Again, in. One of the cool things about Trio is that they loan out <coughs> graphic calculators, tablets, um, school supplies like scantrons blue book. she messed up <coughs> let's do it oh. okay right, let's try again again one frame at a time this some of the cool things about there trio is that they loan out graphing calculators tablets school supplies book vouchers and we have a very dedicated staff with counseling. Okay, so when you're done, you hit your out, in and out, find a new spot, put your cursor in here, hold the left <laughs> mouse down and drag right after the other one. Look, see how I put it in the thing right afterwards? Again, you wanna just put it down there right afterwards, right? Right afterwards. Find another spot. They take the extra time. <laughs> the great thing about our counselors is that they take the extra time. No, nope, that's not. Uh oh. The great thing about the trio counselors is that they take I think the, the extra time. Counselors wrote to this make for her sure to say that you are on the right path. Uh oh, she messed up again. The great thing about our trio counselors is that they take the extra time to answer your questions and make sure that you are on the right path. There we go. Okay. So again, right afterwards. We also try to present. Oh, she messed up again. I am the first one in my family to go to college, and Trio has provided me the sense of family. Okay, that's enough. So I have three different clips. Again, I put them one right after the other. No transition in between. And the reason why is, if you if you watch here, watch the cut. Some of the cool things. About okay, it's okay to do the cut like that. Some of the cool things about. Okay. So I'll show you how to um, fine tune it in here, right? So right now, this one at the very beginning, I should end it here, not there. How can I fine tune that? I'll show you in a minute. Put like four clips together, try to find four different spots, and then I'll show you how to fine tune between the two clips. Okay, we'll learn how to fine tune.
Okay, so let me show you how to fine tune between two clips. Okay, now here's a problem, or at least a concept you need to keep in mind is that when we do the in and out, you have a set time. So how do I deal with all these things that have set time, in and out for each one of these, in and out. So I thought we should have ended this one here, not where it's ended. As you can see, the blue here is where I wanted to end. So I could either move this over and then grab all these and, and line it back up, or I could use a tool in the toolbar. There's these tools over here in the toolbar that will help you to fine tune your edit between two video clips. So what I want to do is I want to take the end of this clip, where the black line is at the end of this clip, and I want to move it over to where the blue line is, where it should have ended. And I want all of these to move at the same time. Okay, the tool I'm going to use is called the ripple tool. Called the ripple tool. Watch how I use it, and then you can try it. It's called the ripple. If you come over here to the toolbar, you'll notice there's one right here. It's called the ripple edit tool. Okay, and it looks like an arrow with pointing in two directions with a line in the middle. I'm going to click on this tool. I'm going to put my cursor between these two, and I'm going to drag this way, and you'll see everything will shift down. Watch how I do it again. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. To zoom in on the timeline, again, this is called the timeline. You'll see there's like a little bar at the bottom down here. See this little bar along the bottom of the timeline? If you click, it can drag, and it, it's kind of like showing you more and less. It's like zooming in a little bit more and less. You can see the time changing up here. So then I can grab the ripple tool, which is this one right here. I can put my cursor right along the edge here. Notice how the cursor changes to an, a kind of a yellow arrow pointing in one direction. If I hold my mouse down and I drag this way, it'll actually end the clip where it should and, and move these other ones over. Okay, it's called the ripple edit. It's a way of shifting. And it works the same way if you click on the end and you need to add more time, right? And you want to shift all the other things down. It works the same way. I could grab this and move it like this and it pushes the other ones down okay it's like changing the out point so the in and out it's called the ripple edit great for fine tuning now between these clips let's watch some of the cool things about so it's a much better edit now watch throughout college some of the cool things see how now she, if there's less time between them and it goes right into the next one a lot better so see if you can fine tune yours so that she sounds good good i guess it's on Sounds appropriate. How about that is the word between the clips and then uh, um, about um, moving things around. So right now, again, this shows more and shows less down here. And I'm going to use the black arrow or this one right here is a tool in the toolbar that has allows you to shift everything in the toolbar. This one right here. So it selects everything. Okay, this one right here. So if I want to shift this down. I can use this tool right here, the second one. And if I click on it, and I can shift it down, I'm going to shift it down a few. You'll notice as I'm moving it, it pops up with these numbers. What do those numbers represent? Well, those numbers represent seconds and frames. And since this is running at 30 frames a second, you can see the numbers. So if I wanted, let's say, four seconds of the West Valley logo at the beginning, as I move it, you'll notice 4.01 is about four seconds, right? I can release my mouse. I'm going to go back to my black arrow. I'm going to grab my West Valley logo, which is over here in my, um, over there in my whatever in here. And I can drag it right into the front. Oh, look at that. By default, it's five seconds. All still images are by default five seconds. You can change that later, but notice how it, as I do that, it's, it's kind of cutting the beginning of my clip out. I don't know if you notice that, but it is. So that's not going to work. If I do that, it chops the beginning of my video out. I don't want that. What can I do? Well, I can take the logo and put it over top of a track above. This layers up. You notice you have a, a V2 and a V3. These are video tracks that are above this one. So I can take the clip and I can drag it above that. And if I go and I drag it above, then I can take my cursor along the edge here. 
And all still images, it's a still, and the, so when I mean the word still image, oh, look at that, it's not even a full screen, is it? Oh. Okay. Let's make it full screen and then we'll, we'll change the time. To make an image fit the screen, to make an image fit the screen, you can click on it and underneath the clip option, under clip, so select it in the timeline, go under clip, video option, scale to frame size. So to make the logo fit the screen, select it in the timeline, go to clip, video options, scale to frame, and look. Now it's not perfect because you got a little black on the sides because of course this is not in the right ratio, but that looks a lot better. Now if you even wanted to make it even bigger, you could use the effects control and go to motion and even scale it right here bigger. Like that. To make it even bigger, you go to effects controls, motion scale, and you can scale it bigger. So think about that for your slideshow, right? You want to move your pictures in the slideshow, right? You can do that. Okay, so, uh, and then, of course, I need the, the logo. I, I don't want to cut that out. I'm going to move it over just a little bit so it lines up just perfect. So now I have a logo at the beginning for four seconds, and we cut I have a student right here. right into her talking. You can even move it down here if you want. There you go, make it pretty. So again, still images can be stretched and so on. Next, I'm gonna grab the audio and put it in. So if I take the music, I can drag it to an audio channel underneath. If I drag the audio, I can drag it down here and we can listen to it with audio. I am a student here at West Valley College, and I belong to the Trio program. What is Trio? Trio is a... Of course, it's too loud. So we need to bring the music down so it's soft. Just a little. We just want a little bit of sound. To do that, you would click on the audio itself. Go to the effects controls. If you don't see effects controls, it's under window. Effects controls should show up. So again, I have the audio selected. Under effects control is a audio volume, volume right here. I can twirl the little triangle down and there's a level option and I can put my cursor over the number right here, over the number and drag down. Oh, don't worry about that. It just says the server shutting down. It's okay. We already got the clips and I can, sh you know, go way down. Probably I would say around 18 I would say maybe 14. Let's see what that sounds like. I am a student here at West Valley College, and I belong too to bad. the Trio program. It's a little too loud. I would say 20, huh? How did we drag it down? The audio? Yeah. I went straight from the here yeah, I just into here. Yeah. Yeah? I'm here. I'm just, uh, how do you change the number? Like from here? I won't, I won't just say. Let's see if you can put some music. So Premiere has these little numbers that you can drag on top.
So the last thing we're going to do, and then we're going to make it into the video, is during her talk, we want to cut to some pictures of the campus, right? Because we don't want to see her talking all the time. So you want to cut. So we're going to put some pictures over top of her talking. So again, I'm going to grab some pictures of the campus. And so I'm going to, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to zoom this out a little bit here. So maybe here where she's talking about the campus. Some of the cool things about Trio is that they loan out graphing calculators, tablets. Now I don't have any graphing ca calculators or tablets or whatever she's talking about. But what I do have, uh-oh, do you notice as I change the volume, it's putting keyframes automatically in there. I like that. Look at that. Evil. Hold on. Started at the beginning. Whatever. So again, I'm going to take some of the pictures I have of campus, and I'm going to drag it over top of my video footage. Notice, uh-oh, that's not the right size, is it? How can I make it bigger? <coughs> Under effects control, I can make it bigger by scaling it. There we go. That's not bad. So again, Selecting the picture and scaling right here, scaling allows you to make it bigger. Again, select the picture, effects control, motion, scale it. Okay, so last thing is to put a transition so it fades the picture in and fades the picture off. Do you remember the first day of class when we were using the dissolve, right? Dissolve. So to fade the picture on and off, I'm going to use the, in the effects window, in the effects window, over here effects, you'll see that there's video effects, video transitions. I'm going to make the dissolve at the beginning of the clip and a dissolve at the end of the clip. Remember that the first day of class we used the cross dissolve right here? Video transition, cross dissolve. So if you want a picture to fade in, watch now. Slow now. Graphing calculators, tablets, See how it fades in? Book vouchers, and we have... And it fades book. out. Again, I put a picture over top. I scaled it so it fits the frame. Again, scaling it so it fits the frame. And then I put a cross dissolve under effects, cross dissolve at the beginning and end. So that they loan out graphing calculators, tablets, so you can supplies, fade book vouchers, and we have a see that? And then of course we, we don't want the audio all the way out to the end. We can grab the audio and line it up with the end of my video so it stops at the end of my video. Right. Now I'll make it for YouTube and I'll put it on YouTube and I'll be a star. Right? I'm going to make millions on YouTube. I am a student here at West Valley College, and I belong to the TRIO program. What is TRIO? The other thing you'll notice is there was a mistake in her audio where it was only recording one sound channel. You'll notice it only comes out of the left speaker and not the right speaker. Okay. Now that was a problem from the audio equipment that I was recording this from, so yeah, that's on me. You think we can fix it? Sure we can. Okay, so you can tell Premiere to take that one channel and make it stereo so it comes out both sides. Okay, that's an effect control as well. It's going to be an audio effect, an audio effect. Take the mono and make it stereo. 
So how I do that is I grab the audio effect and I drag it right on top of, here's her sound, right? You can see this is where her sound is, right here. Okay, so we need to fix that. We need to fix that. How I'm going to do that is by going to the audio effects. And the one I want to use is going to be, um, I know it's here, I, I used it. Um, uh, travel swap channels, swap channels, no. Ah, there it is, I saw it. Fill with right, fill with left, fill left with right, fill right with left. Let me see if that's the one I want. Yeah. What is Trio? Trio is a better... So I went and I used the one that says fill right with left because it's only coming out the left side, right? So I went to the one that says fill right with left and I put it right on top of the audio here. Several student support... See, see how this Graphic is only coming... Look, look at the bar. Tablets. It's only coming Student's out the one side. Book vouch. So again, fill right with left, right on top of that, fill right with left, fill right with left, and that will actually fix it so it will, take, it took whatever's on the left and put it on the right with the left. So that's how I fixed it for her audio on one side. Make sure you put the end of the audio aligned up with the end of the video. Okay, I'm going to make mine for you too. So how do we put this on YouTube? Well, we need to compress it, okay? So to compress it, now if we hit save, it's just going to save the, the project file. So if we just go under file, save, it saves it how we built it, but it's not a file that we put on YouTube. Make sure you clip down here. Notice how this is blue. You want to click on the timeline first before you go to make it a video because 
If you click here, it might think you want to make something else. So click down here, see how it's blue, everything's blue down here. So I click on the timeline. To make it for YouTube, I go under File, Export, Media, File, Export, Media. And then I'm going to go to where it goes up here where it says H.264, right? H.264 is the format for YouTube right here at the top. Then I'm going to go to where it says Presets, and I'm going to choose YouTube at the very bottom. Since it's YouTube and it's, this is high definition, 1080p. I'm going to use the 1080p. So again, H.264. YouTube 1080p here and then give it a name right here give it a name this is my um, interview this is a WV interview WV interview and put it on I'm gonna put it on a desktop desktop and then so again this is where you name it YouTube H264 and then say export right here and it'll compress it for YouTube when you're done, you'll see your video. Here it is. It's beautiful. It's A plus here. We can play it through QuickTime. This is what it looks like. I am a student here at West Valley College, and I belong to the TRIO program. What is TRIO? TRIO is a federal student support service program that helps low-income or first-generation students throughout college. Some of the cool things about TRIO Again, a cut. is that they loan out graphing calculators, tablets, There's my fade to the picture. book vouchers, and we have a very dedicated staff with counseling. The great thing about our TRIO that could have been a little edited right there. take the extra time to answer your questions and make sure that you are on the right path. I am the first one in my family to go to college, and TRIO has provided me with a sense of family. Okay, I know it's a little rough because I did it quick. But hopefully, you know, think of your interview. You don't have to have the person going the entire time. You can do an interview where they start and stop, right? Most important thing I would say is make sure that they don't move too much if you're going to do something like this. I have a mark on the ground where I had her stand the same spot. Now she moves around with her head and stuff, but I, you know, it's not too much. Patient to join you know, so, And then. Try and get the person not to move so much, too. You know, you get a lot of people, when I've seen it get nervous and they get in a chair like this and they start swiveling. Like this. You know what I mean? Now really pay attention if you're interviewing somebody. And make sure, you know, it takes a lot of time. You know, learn to make mistakes. Let's look at some of my mistakes and then we'll get started. We'll go down, we're going to go to another room. Hey, let's look at my mistakes. To, and these are things to avoid. Jeff's things to avoid in your interview. Um, I don't know where my, where is my, hold on, let me save this real quick. My recording, oh, it's still recording.